In this video, I will show you how to make a poster with Canva, just like this one, using the help of Canva AI. I'm also going to give you some great tips and tricks, so let's get started. To start with our poster, we have to go to the searching bar in Canva, and on here we have to type for poster. And then we're just going to click in enter. But once we are here, we have two options. We can use a Canva template, or we can create one from scratch. For today's example, I'm going to be creating mine from scratch, so I'm just going to click in here where it says create blank poster. And now we can start to create our post. Before starting with our design, we have to add all the text that we want our post to have. So when we start with the designing, we don't miss any space for important information. And to do this, I'm just going to go to the text section on here, and on here I'm just going to start one text that I like. So I'm just going to be using this one. So I already add my text, but also because the background of our post is black, I'm going to be changing from now, so I don't have to change all the text again. And then I'm going to be adding all my text. This go. So now we already add all the text for our poster. So now we can move on on adding all the textures, elements, images, and everything that you want to add in your poster. So I'm going to be starting by the image, and to do this, I'm just going to go and search for female DJ. And then on here, I'm going to go on the section of photos. And then on here, I'm just going to be searching for a picture that I like. So I think this one is the one that I like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and click edit photo. And on here, I'm just going to be using the BG remover. And I can double click and then I can crop my image to the part that I'm going to be using. Because I don't need this one. I just need the part of the top. So I'm just going to be cropping here. And then I'm going to adjust. And then also what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding some shapes. So I can stand out more uh, specific text that I want to add so maybe on here maybe just like this and then there we go now I'm gonna be adding some elements I'm just gonna start by the smoke so here we're gonna go to the graphic area and then here we can start to see which kind of smoke we like so I want to add this one and this is nice, but it's not the color that I, that I wanted to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and select this smoke. We're going to go to edit photo, view tone, and on here you can change the color of your smoke. So maybe on here, there we go, something like that. And then we're going to go position all the way to the back. And we're going to, the only thing we have to do is we just have to duplicate this one. And then on here, I want it to look exactly like this, but in the other side. What we're going to do is we're just going to click on it and then flip on here. And we make the same. We start to adjust it. Maybe on here, position, back. And then we can start to uh, add more. So I'm going to duplicate this one and then I'm going to be adding a bit higher. And position, back. And now the other one. This one, this one, duplicate. Oh, okay, I duplicate this one, so I'm just going to go and make flip. So it stays in this side. So I'm just going to be higher. Maybe on here. And position, and all the way to the back. And there we go. We already start to add our smoke. So what I'm going to be doing now, I'm just going to be deleting this one. And we already know that on here is a place that it has to be the disco um, text. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be searching D and then if we go, we have graphics, frames and photos. We're going to go to this section and on here we're just going to click in see all. And then on here we have a lot of options to choose from to start to play and change the letters on the top. So I'm just going to be choosing something D and now on here it doesn't really matter that it's not an uh, element. Because on here we can still change the color of this one. So in case, like, let's say I don't want it the purple, I just go again, edit photo, view tone. And then on here I can change completely the color of my letter. So in case I want it in, I don't know, um, silver or blue or red, you can change 
and in case you want a more specific color on here you can go and start to play with the color so let's say i want to like crazy uh, red there we go you can play with the colors you don't really need to stay with the same color that is on here and you can do the same for all the letters but i'm just gonna keep it on purple and we're gonna make the same for the other letters then on here for these letters i want that they stand out a bit more so for this i'm just gonna go make shadow and i'm gonna change it to black so you can see now that it seems different and we can make the same exactly for here so shadow and then we make black and then they can stand out a bit more and what i'm gonna be doing is i'm just gonna be adding more elements so we can add maybe like spark sparkle and then we're gonna go to the part of graphics the o and then on here we can start to add some elements so maybe something like this so maybe like this and then also I want to change the color. I want them to make like purple. Do I like purple? Yeah, I like purple. So I'm going to select this one and then I'm just going to go and duplicate. And we make the same. We just make sure that they are not in the letter. So our letters stand out. There we go. Something like this. So now I want to add a background for my DJ. But I want to create this one a bit more customized. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the section of apps. And on here I'm just going to search for magic media. This one. And then on here I'm just going to click in the first option that says magic media. And then we click. And this is an AI tool that Canva integrates. That it can make images. So as any other AI you just have to write your prompt. And then it will generate a customized image. So because today I'm creating a poster and I need a specific image, I'm going to be using this prompt and create a futuristic disco background with purple and pink lasers. So we can choose between these. We have the color, the trimmy, anime, filmic. So we can choose between these ones to create our image. And we also have different type of sizing. So we have square, landscape and portrait. But I'm just going to keep it like this. And maybe we can try with photo. And let's see what, what we get. So I'm just going to click in generate image. And there we go. We already have some options that we can use already for our background. But in case that you like something from here. But you want to see more options. What you can do is you can just go to these three dots. And you can click in generate more like this. So... I'm going to try with this one. Let's see. We're going to generate more like this one. And then we can see what Canva generate for us. So as you can see now we have more options. So I can try maybe with this one. Maybe this one. Oh. So to place our background. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it all the way in the corner. And then I'm going to pull it up till the middle. Or where I want that my image stays like in this in the top of this background. And I'm going to double click and then I'm just I'm just going to crop it till maybe here. And then I'm just going to place the position till all the way to the back. And there we go. We already placed our background. Now we already have our complete poster. And the only thing remaining for us to do is to download it. And to do this, we're just going to go to the square here where it says share. We're going to click on it. And we're going to click in the option that says download. And on here, if you want a digital poster, you can keep it as a PNG. But in case that you want to print this poster, you can just take this option that says PDF print. And you click on it. And then you're just going to go and click in download. And that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.